before I start, I just wanted to introduce um, the band and the backup singers. We went to Northwestern with Steve. Uh, he's my pledge dad. His pledge dad. He was very fertile. They have, you know, they're all over. Um, I'm Russell. This is Jenny and Will Sumari. Dave and Cindy Thompson, who live out here. And uh, Craig and Jody. Hadeen Knight. Um, anyway, we're going to be singing a song. We'll see how it goes. We'll rehearse it a little bit. Not at all. But it's set to the tune of Jack and Diane, we figured, with his Midwestern roots. Uh, we couldn't pull off Kansas. Uh, just in the wind, just wasn't in the cards, but... This works. All right. About Steve and Richard Hayes. I'm making it to 8,250 days. He's easy to love, but I still kind of hate him. How many doctors can move and shake like Channing Tatum? He can play lead role on the TV show House. He's got two great kids and a beautiful spouse. Lindsay. He runs faster than pre-Fontaine. He still looks younger than Doogie Howser, M.D. <laughs> if looks could kill, he'd be locked up for life. But no one studied, he charmed the warden and he'd get out in five. He lives in Kitfield, even if he tells you it's Ross. You can stress the truth like that when you're such a boss. He's a famous physician, a famously good friend. He even lives up the hill from Robin Wright Penn. He doesn't have to eat to keep your attention. He can intermittently fast and not get orthostatic hypotension. <laughs> oh yeah, he's turning 50. It's almost time to schedule your facelifting. Oh yeah, he's turning five. Across the bay from Briscoe, I know it's called San Francisco. <laughs> Upon closer inspection, there are cracks in his armor. Still runs fast, but not like when he was a charger. And that's not all. His armor has more crackies. Before he met Margo, he had more pleated khakis. Back in the day, if you complimented his style, he'd say, what the self play? With a smile. But forget the notion, he wears a nun's habit. At Northwestern, he did a little research on baby rabbits. <laughs> he can fish along, there's no doubt that's true. That said, in college, he broke a heart or two. There's one more organ that makes him shiver. He will gag on sight if you feed him pate of liver. <laughs> but wait, there's more. He made another big mistake. Ask Margo about their first date. In an attempt to appear cool and reckless, Steve showed up wearing one of those pop shell necklaces. Come on! Oh yeah! She's turning 50 in front of family and friends and his first wife, Sibby. Invites were sent. Steve forgot one thing a reception tent. 
Margo was sure she found the right fella. But it's hard to slow dance while holding an umbrella. <laughs> River has it. They've had some remodel drama. Not like the children's book. Not like Yama Yama Red Pajama. She said to Margo, I mean, how hard could it be? I watch my fair share of shows on HTV. <laughs> when they were done with all the hard labor, they come to learn they've got fingers for neighbors. Someone broke in, trod on his pants and long sleeves. I mean, even burglar can want to be seen. He doesn't know all, just listen to this. His biggest weakness, if I'm making the call, he reads for the Jayhawks instead of the Tennessee Walls. Come on, oh yeah, she's turning 50. Feels pretty good. Doctor, I can write you some blue pills. <laughs>